Okay, okay, okay. Have we got something? Have we got something? Something's coming. <laughs> ah! No way! It ain't no way! He's a robot! Was my boy Matthew Pathy right all along? We're getting closer and closer to the Ruin DLC's release, but there are still so many secrets left to find in FNAF Security Breach. Like, what does our sweet glam daddy like to do in his spare time? Your mother? Or is Gregory actually a robot? There's always been something off about our sweet savage Greg Greg, and I think that might be because he's an animatronic. And people after this is daddy. <laughs> that sounds so off. Weird. But so true. And today, we're gonna finally find out what Gregory actually is. Gregory is none other than Gregory. Woo! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of Science with Paparaz. The series in which you give me your myths, theories, and experiments to blow open the secrets of FNAF Security Breach. And today's all about Gregory. He can't actually be a robot, right? Well, fear not, ladies and gentlemen, because I, Paparaz, will solve that question for you in today's episode. However, there's a question I need you to solve for me. Gregory, the potentially robo-boy, versus William, who knows what this man's even is these days, Afton, who would win in a fight? Leave your answers down in the comment section below. Oh. Today's first exciting myth of the day has been sitting by the fantastic Lily Drops. You can trigger the Roxy cutscenes by walking through the track. You don't even need the race car. Okay, I'm looking forward to this one. Okay, so the race car is right there in front of us. We don't need this, apparently. So we're going to go to inventory. We have got the fixed head. If I go to it here, repaired head, all there, all fixed, ready to rock and roll. We've put his brain back in. His brain's intact. And I'm going to keep it as a souvenir. So let's quickly go over and see if we can glitch ourselves onto the racetrack and from there just trigger the cutscene. Do you know what? I really hope this is true because if it is, I'm going to play a little bit further on into the game and then come back and use the race car once again. See if we can run over Roxy twice. Ooh, that'd be so good. <laughs> so many Roxy stands are going to be after me now. Paparaz, you're so mean to Roxy. It's because I'm a Foxy stand. Where my boy at? Steel Wolf, bring Foxy and Bonnie back. Bring them back. We don't like change. Guys, if you're hyped for another Five Nights of Freddy Security Breach Myth video, then please go ahead and smash that like button. And hey, if this video right here gets 1,000 beautiful likes in the first hour of the video going live, then tomorrow you will get a very, very special myth video. If you like the puppet, you're gonna love this video. Speaking of which, if you've got any myths to do with the puppet in FNAF Security Breach, Somebody type them in the comment section below. I still think there's a lot more to do with the puppet in Security Breach, so if you have any myths, let me know what they are. And to celebrate the release of the Rune DLC coming out next year, I'm going to be giving away some copies of the main game, because as we already know, the DLC is free, baby! So we want to be prepared for that. So if you would like to enter the competition to win one of the free copies I'm giving away, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Now the comment could be anything. Go ahead and tell me who your favourite FNAF animatronic is. Tell me when you joined the FNAF fandom. Tell me what your favourite favorite FNAF game is, and as always, leave your myths, theories, and experiments down in the comment section below. So subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Good luck! So that's the section we need right there. So we need to get onto the tracks. So what's the easiest way to do this? Can I jump on any of these things? I don't think I can. I Oh, I can. Hold, hold up. Look at your boy go. Look at your boy go. Okay, now where do we go from here? Now where do we... Oh! Can we legally do this? I don't even need to glitch it with Freddy. Hold, hold up. Hold the phone. I did not know we could do it. How long have I been playing this game? How long have I been trying to glitch onto the track and stuff like that? And I can just jump up here? This is going to be speedrunning strat. Let's see if this myth actually works, ladies and gentlemen. Before we go any further, do you think this is going to work? Let me know down in the comment section below. I honestly think this is going to work. I have faith in Lily drops. Please don't drop a howler, Lily. Please, Lily. Naughty, naughty, naughty. No way. It didn't work. What is that? Why did that say enter there? Oh! I've fallen through the map! Help me! Freddy, come over here! Freddy! Fred! Your mother? Freddy! Okay, I feel warm and safe inside your tum tum again. Oh! Hey! Did you see that? Did you see that? That was so. Yo, yo, Lily, you was right! You were right there, Lily! We're not even in the. We're not even in the go kart! Hey, yo! Nice! I was just in Freddy! Am I riding Freddy? Am I riding in Freddy? That's amazing. We we did just completely glitch it. I'm gonna go back and check my inventory just in a second to see if it's right. Oh, I love this moment. Oh, crippling pain! Emotional damage! There we go. It, it actually does leave emotional damage on Roxy, all joking aside. Oh, wait, what? What? <laughs> Hey, 
Hey yo, I died in the video game, I'll die in real life. <laughs> Hey, yo, Glam Daddy, please don't betray me this time because we're gonna try this again. I don't need you. Don't look away from me when I'm talking. Thank you. We're gonna do this properly, and you're not gonna jump scare me. You're not gonna trap me inside your bits and pieces and turn me into a meat pretzel. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Thank you, Freddy. Behave. Right, Freddy, we're on the track. We're on the track, my boy. We just need to make our way up to the top level because that's where we're supposed to be over there. So let's just do a big old circuit round, and hopefully we can actually. I've not been on the entire track, you know, so this is all new to me as well. So it's nice to just do a big old circuit of the track. You know what I'm saying, Freddy? I definitely feel like there should have been some sort of mini game over here. Where we could have just raced around in the racetrack. And do you know what? That would be great. Let's just, just, just pop it in the DLC, baby. Pop it in the DLC. Let's have a good time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Whoa! Wait, it does! It works! It absolutely works. The first time it didn't work because obviously we didn't go past the, tr the, the trigger point for the car. Hey! We were about to run over ourselves there. Did anybody see that? We were about to- Gregory was about to run over Gregory. He's a robot. He's a robot in disguise. He's duplicating himself. There's a Greg army after us. This is ridiculous. Two Gregories. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely poggers. What a moment. What a moment. So, now we just need to quickly go through, end this boss fight, and come back up to see if we can actually do this again by using the head correctly. Here she is, Roxanne, she's down here, baby girl, baby girl been taken out, and I'm about to take out those eyes. It's Halloween season, baby, and Jeepers Creepers, I'm taking the papers. Oh, Freddy, Chimney Christmas, you give me a heart attack there. By the way, you might want to look away, Freddy, because I'm about to um, collect some eyeballs. Hope you don't mind. Um, you're right behind me, aren't you? I know, buddy. I know, I probably should not have done that. I know. But at the end of the day, who cares? <laughs> the go-kart's still there, baby! The go-kart's still there! Okay, 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 okay. Can we trigger the event again? A same place. A same place. Th does that mean we've still got the bot head? It does. It means we've still got it. And we've got Roxy's eyes. So you know that we've we've not done it. I've not done anything fancy. There's not been any fancy cuts. There is Roxy's at Jeepers Creepers Peepers. We've got the repaired head and we still have the go-kart in front of us. So we should be able to do it again. Hey, Roxy two for one, baby. Should we do it? Should we go ahead and do it again? Okay, let's go. There we go. We put the the the, the um the head on. Does it eat? It does. It's taking us into the cutscene. We're doing it again, baby. Roxy, has Roxy got her eyes? Can we grab two pairs of eyes? This is gonna be amazing. We've completely busted the game. She's got her eyes back! <laughs> Freddy must have taken them out of our inventory because he saw us taking those peepers from our eyes. And there we go, we're doing it again! <laughs> How many times can we end game Roxy in the one save? This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I, we gotta go back and try again to see if walking on the track, just like the first time, triggers the cutscene. Because if it does, you can just infinitely loop Roxy getting end game. I feel so naughty. <laughs> Oh, Freddy, Freddy, please, you gotta stop judging me, brother. I'm sorry. Can I take her eye? I probably can't take them again. No, I can't take her eyes again. They are already there and disappeared. Now, let's see if we can fly back up and trigger the scene again. I'm feeling in a mischievous mood today. In my defense, though, this is this is all Lily's fault. <laughs> this is all your fault. Okay, we're back on the track. Let's run down. <laughs> This is ridiculous! This is absolutely ridiculous! <laughs> it just gets funnier and funnier each time! It's absolutely amazing! <laughs> Freddy's just standing down there! <laughs> the fact that Freddy was just there watching the accident happen! My mans! My mans! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? This begs the question. What happens if I go back to one of my completed save files where we've done absolutely everything? Can we do the same thing? <laughs> All right, cool. So we've got a save file where we're down in Afton's belly. This is where the bowels of the beast where Afton resides. And we're just gonna, I'm just going to teleport all the way back up to the top. Aw, bit of father-son time. Why are you staring at his feet, Gregory? That's 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 beyond nasty. I don't care if you're a robot or not. Okay, so here we are. Let's just drop down real quick. Okay, let's see if it works. Let's see if it does. It does every single time. It doesn't matter when you do this. It does not matter. Now we've got to try a save file right from the beginning of the game. Right from the very start, 
brand new save file. If we glitch fly all the way over here, can we get Roxy's eyes right at the beginning? Oh, this is perfect. I just picked a random 11 a.m. saved game. And here we are. Here we are. This, this is amazing. This is absolutely perfect. So, yeah, we're at 11 a.m. We haven't got anything. This is all we have got. We've got the photo pass, and we have got the um, fast watch. That's literally everything we've got. We're right at the very, very beginning. Can I even... Yeah, there's, there's not even a bot here. There's no bots in here because this part of the game, you're not supposed to be here. This is obviously one of the save files where we tried to do a challenge run. If we could beat or get down to Afton at 11 a.m., which you can technically get down there, but the game just, just breaks it. It just does not want you to be there, which which is absolutely acceptable. So let's get up here. Let's do all the, the, the jumps we need to do to get onto the track. Let Gregory in. There we go. Okay. So we'll run up here and then come back down this side and let's see if we can do it from this end of the game. Pro no, I don't think we can. Hey, yo. So you can't do it from the very beginning of the game. You have to wait. Okay, that's very interesting. Unfortunately, or fortunately, if you're a Roxy, that doesn't trigger the cutscene. So coming here at 11 a.m., right from the very start of the game, you cannot trigger the Roxy cutscene. But that was, wow, what a myth. You could just infinitely loop Roxy getting endgamed for as long as you want. If you've got a sick, sadistic mind, then go ahead, endgame Roxy all you want. The next exciting myth of the day is by XD Kill Tents. Hey, Raz, I got a cool, interesting myth for you. I don't know if you've done this one already. What happens if you don't get the flashlight in FNAF Security Breach. Will you get softlocked or can you progress? Love your videos, Raz. Keep up the good work. I will keep up the good work. You must be punished. Ooh, punish me. Naughty boy. Gregory, I do not know what you did. Wait, the what? Lights are out in the daycare. Hey, nobody cares. To find the emergency I'm a robo boy. Turn them on. No, they I do not. I refuse. Okay, so, let there be light. Take the flashlight. You're not going to go out there without a flash. It's too dark, is it? Is it too dark for you, Gregory? You're a robot. Put, turn on infrared or something. Night vision goggles. You know the drill. Let's get... There he is. Freddy, 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 Freddy. Freddy. Look how happy he is to see me. Let's get inside Freddy. Let's get inside. So, we'll glitch inside Freddy. And we're going to escape without taking the flashlight. Goodbye. Nobody needs a flashlight. So, what happens? Does the moon get triggered? Is he there? I feel like I hear him. Is He's right there, isn't he? Is he just stuck? Ayo, he isn't doing nothing. Ayo, he ain't doing nothing. <laughs> if you don't take the flashlight, my man says like, no, um, I, I don't care. I don't care. Make my challenge difficult, naughty boy. Let's try turning on there. Does that make him move? Oh, yeah, it does. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, well, we didn't get the flashlight, and now we're pretty much goosed. He's out and about, and I'm in the dark. Uh, no, no, children shouldn't be punished. Don't worry. Uh, why am I in here? Hey, yo, he's gonna come and get my cheeks. He's gonna come and get my cheeks. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All my hairs are standing on, and I can't see a thing. He's gonna, he's just gonna appear. Ah! Oh, he's laughing at me, sir. He's laughing at me. Ayo, hey, there's gotta be a challenge where you don't... You, you try and win this without, like, destroying his little towers. Because it is possible to do it. Oh, there he is! Do you know what? I'm going inside for it. I'm a coward. I'm a coward! I ain't doing that! I'm going inside! Ayo, hey, my, my... Why is his pants so stained, buddy? Then look at them! Go to the dry cleaners or something. That's bad news. Can we just... Can we just leave? Can we just... Wait, what? This, this area is on. Ah! Guess that was karma for saying weird things. Thank you very much for that myth. It, it, it didn't really do much. We didn't get soft locked. We just, we just find it very difficult to do anything. Like survive. Nah, hey, 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 hey. This next myth is kind of fire, though. Rose sends it in. There's a theory that Vanessa is a robot. What? And it's being controlled by Elizabeth. And that's why when Vanessa is free, she and Gregory are wearing purple, along with the type of ice cream Vanessa eats, is a reference to when she got scooped. And it is all the three children sitting together finally reunited. Hey, what? <laughs> Hold up a second. Okay, cool. So here we go. We got the very best ending here that we can get in Security Breach at this very point in time. This is the ending where you go ahead and do all the princess quest minigames and you free Vanessa's soul from Glitch Trap's power and she is 
no longer Vanny. She puts the mask on the floor. Here we are. We're outside. We are free. Everybody's together. And this is the happy ending. So, what you're suggesting is that we have got the um, Gregory, who's the crying child over here. We have got Freddy, who is meant to be Michael, the brother. And we've got Vanessa over here, who is currently representing Elizabeth Afton. And Elizabeth, uh, uh, Vanessa is a robot as well, and she's eating an ice cream. Okay, so I get the references. Everybody's in purple. Purple shirt there on Gregory, and we've got the purple shirt over here on Vanessa as well. So that's linking back to William Afton, their daddy, Mr. Afton being purple guy. Okay, I can kind of see that. And I, I also understand the reference over here of um, the, 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 the ice cream over here having its, like, head bitten off, which, again, shows or at least alludes to the fact that Gregory is the crying child because it's the crying child that was part of the bite of 83 and, and the Fred Bear took his frontal lobe from him. Actually, it wasn't even... I don't know if it was for frontal lobe. Anyway, either way, because it was the bite of 87, was just frontal lobe. I don't know if that was the bite of 83. It's all very confusing. It's FNAF at this point, and people are going to argue in the comment section. Just be polite about it if you're going to do it, okay? Don't call people names. Just be polite in arguing your point. However, bite of 83... It's where the crying child lost his life. Okay, so here we go. And then we, we, we a lot of people have assumed, because um, uh, Pat solved lots of stuff as well, that uh, our glam daddy is actually Michael. And that's why Michael has broken free from the glitch trap curse or virus. And that's why Michael is helping us out because we are meant to be his brother or we represent his brother, whatever it is. But it's interesting to see that you're saying that Elizabeth Afton is in control of Vanessa and I suppose if you have a look at the, 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 the blob, Baby's mask is part of that so maybe Baby is in Vanessa and Afton is using Baby to control the rest of us it's weird, it's so... Maybe she is. Maybe Elizabeth is. It, it would it would be really interesting. Obviously, the ice cream is the same as when um, Elizabeth went to get the ice cream from Baby, and then Baby scooped her. She wasn't meant to be scooped. It was a, a very unfortunate accident, and um, maybe that is why the ice cream is in this picture. Either way, that is a very interesting myth. I haven't seen that one before. Very cool. Very, very cool. I would love that if that is a nice little tie-in. And the three children are reunited. They are free from their father's oppression and they're ready just to enjoy whatever life or peace that they have left. And it would be very interesting if that security breach ruin the DLC is called ruin because Afton is once again ruined this happy memory or this happy um, reunited family peaceful scenario that we have got here because this is peaceful they're watching the sunrise on a glorious day and this is the first day of the rest of their lives so it would be great and it would be a wonderful time if the DLC is called Ruin because Afton has once again ruined this because as we can see in the poster um, Gregory has been captured again Gregory is in there he's been captured and hey maybe even Gregory is working with his dear daddy, you know, get those bonus points, get those little uh, little, little backpats. Good, Gregory. Thank you for helping people have to <laughs> Very interesting, though. Thank you very much for that myth. It gives us another little talking point as well. So, in the comment section below, what do you think? What do you think of this ending? What do you think this ending symbolizes? Is it just a nice ending or is there something deeper? Let's face it, with Five Nights at Freddy's, it's always deeper. <laughs> Either way, what a great theory. What a great theory. That's what I love about these videos. Myths, theories, experiments, analysis, this, it, it all works. So if you have myths you would like me to discuss in these videos as well, go ahead. It's fun. So now on to the main event, ladies and gentlemen. Is Gregory a robot or not? I don't know. Throw him in the bath. See what happens. <laughs> okay, so as we've already discovered, this little secret room down in the bowels of the pizza plex, we have got a representation of the Afton family. Here we go. We've got beautiful Michael over here, Foxy Bro. We've got Elizabeth over here. We've got Mama Afton. Afton, Ballora, we've got big old William Afton, and here we go, we have the crying child, because the head is missing, missing? But don't worry, Mama, don't worry, Mama Ballora, just like your big old cake, I got a big old heart, I'm gonna put you some back together, because I actually think Gregory is a robot. <laughs>
This is gonna be the biggest argument of the entire video. Do you think Gregory is a robot or not? Anyway, I got an experiment. In my inventory right here, I've got a very secret item. A repaired head. Something that has been very pivotal so far in this episode. I don't, it, it just funny coincidences. Anyway, the repaired head is here once again. I'm gonna use this head and attach it over here. So as you can see, we can attach the head. Okay then, ladies and gentlemen, let's go, uh, head. That attaches... Head. <laughs> now, if this works out the way that I want it to, and the way that has been rumored online, this might, in fact, give us a little bonus ending that leads on to what might happen in the DLC trailer. So, I mean, we just gotta go ahead and do it, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Does anybody have your Afton laugh? Nah, no, 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 no. Your boy doesn't like it. Your boy doesn't like it. Your boy doesn't like it. Freddy, Freddy, where are you, Freddy? Freddy, there's my boy. There's my boy. Open up. Thank you for opening up your tum tum. Shall we go and um? Leave this place? Well, Freddy, or should I say, brother, this has been a pleasure once again. So, shall we exit, or shall I just leave and? Leave you to it, anyway. Oh yeah, one other thing that I went ahead and did as well, it was a suggestion that somebody had in the comment section, was collect every single item, and then go and get the ending. I, I forget who actually popped it down in the comment section below, I couldn't find the comment ever again, so I apologize for that. I do like to credit everybody for their ideas, but I, 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 I'm really sorry. If it was you, you're, you're a legend, you're very poggers, and I appreciate you, but I couldn't find the comment again. I don't know if it got deleted, but here we go. I've unlocked all the items, I've gone ahead and attached the head to the crying child uh, Afton representation robot boy bot thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get the very bad ending here to see if Gregory, you have a we get a new ending. Make. The door is open and you can go. Okay. Or you can continue to investigate the secrets of the Pizzaplex. I feel there is something else going on besides Fanny. Nah, I don't think so, buddy. I'm gonna leave. We're gonna get out of here. Get out! We escaped! Okay, here we go. It is midnight. It's a full moon, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So that confirms that Gregory's actually a werewolf and not, in fact, a robot. So he's running away. He's crying, as he does so, because he's left his glam daddy behind. And we've got some toxic gas coming out of here. That's me. That's, uh, if you follow the pipe, it goes to my bathroom. And there we go. We've got Gregory sleeping in a box. He's pretending to be cold, because he's actually a robot. <laughs> And there we go, which, by the way, if we have a look right in the middle there, that is the hairstyle that's very similar to the girl that's in the ruined DLC. And this is where Vanny should appear. Yes! So Vanny comes back, captures Gregory, and I think this is potentially where the ruined DLC comes into play. Because obviously Gregory's been captured, he's gone back to the pizza plex, and this is the only ending where Gregory actually goes back. So it would, in fact, make sense if this was the canon ending for Five Nights at Freddy's. Obviously, the very good ending, in which we saw earlier on, when everybody's free, everybody's happy, that is potentially the other canon ending. So it's a, it's a toss-up, I don't know. It, it could be the other, it could be this ending. Let's start here, because obviously, Gregory escapes, doesn't solve anything, Afton's still out there, and Vanny captures Gregory, and presumably just takes him back for whatever reason. Who knows? If it is because Vanny is working for Afton and um, Gregory represents the crying child in some way, shape, or form, and Afton has somehow recreated all of his children as robots, which would be crazy. Somehow put their souls, their agony into these robots, and that's why they're still here. And obviously, Afton wants a child back, so Vanny's been sent across, got her brother back, and here we go. That's where the ruined DLC happens, and another girl's coming to try and free everybody from what's going on. And that's what's gonna happen in the DLC. Or it could be the ending where everybody is freed, because um, we have uh, freed Vanessa from Glitchtrap's curse, using Cassidy as the player in the uh, Princess Quest minigames. Everybody's happy, everybody's eating ice cream and looking at the sunset. But obviously, in that ending, you don't actually solve Afton, do you? Afton is still downstairs in the pizza... pizzeria, was it? Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria. Um, and you haven't fixed him. You haven't ended him once and for all. So he's still alive and kicking. So obviously Vanessa goes and tells uh, Gregory and Freddy that Afton's still down in the bowels of the pizza plex and this isn't going to be over. None of this is going to be over until Afton has gone officially fully bye-bye. That's when Gregory goes back to the pizza plex and gets captured. So it could be either one of those endings. Let me know which ending you think it is. Hopefully, we get a little teaser at the end of this ending. <laughs> okay, 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 have we got something? Have we got something? Something's coming. <laughs> ah! 
No way! It ain't no way he's a robot! Was my boy Matthew Pathy right all along? Gregory is a robot! Hey, oh, that design is clean, though! And the way he's just taking his face off to reveal the endoskeleton is amazing! It says, well done, my son, which is in purple, by the way! And obviously that means purple guy, right? The fact that he says, well done, my son, as well, does that mean he's working with Afton? Does that mean he's working with his big, big old daddy? Daddy Afton is in cahoots with his son, crying child. Maybe it's because Gregory wants a little bit of attention in his life, and the only way to get that is to help his dad with his evil schemes. Well, Gregory, well done, buddy, for selling us out, you rat. So was he working with Afton just to get information and just to help finish Afton's body off? Because obviously the events that we did in Security Breach led to Afton being released, so he was using us to finish him off, but it made it look like we were actually trying to end Afton, not help him, but now we've helped Afton, so he's saying, well done, son. Does that mean Gregory was played? Does it mean we were played? We were playing a game, but we were also getting played at the same time. I don't know anymore. This is FNAF. Wow, absolutely fantastic, though. Absolutely fantastic, though. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed today's FNAF Security Breach video, then please go ahead and smash that like button. 1,000 beautiful likes in the first hour, and tomorrow, you'll get another video. I've got some beautiful plans. I've got FNAF memes coming up. I've got some more myths coming up, and I've got a very, very special special mod video in which, ah, uh, it's just carnage, but you're gonna love it if you like funny things. And once again, I gotta give a massive, massive shout out to the fantastically talented Lazy Debbie over on Twitter because, wow, they helped me so much out with this episode, I could not have done this episode without them, so please go and check them out over on Twitter. The, uh, the artwork, the artwork is just, mwah, it is next level beautiful, so please go and follow them on Twitter. In the description below is a link to their channel, and uh, you will not regret it because they are so good. Right, remember my features now, there's gonna be another couple of FNAF videos I know you'll enjoy, so click on one of them bad boys, and I'll see you over there. I've been Razbowski, you've been the beautiful Raspberries, as always, for watching, and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!